This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. Well, today we're getting into a story about the game and how he almost did not become a rapper because he was on Dr. Dre's label, Aftermath, and Jimmy Iovine was about to cut him. And, you know, he was signed to Aftermath Interscope, and, you know, they just, the game wasn't picking up until 50 Cent stepped in and saved his life, okay? 50 Cent said, told Jimmy Iovine, let me get him over here at G-Unit. We'll put him in here. This is where we get to know that 50 Cent wrote Game's first album, okay? Uh, 50 Cent has talked about this many times. He gave the Game hit records he had in a stash. All, 50, all Game had to do was re-wrap them, okay? Then 50 Cent jumped on his first couple records. He got a uh, cakewalk into the Game. The Game got a cakewalk into the Game <laughs> because 50 Cent... Co-signed him. He was he was co-signing everybody. Tony Ayo got co-signed. That's his friend. Lloyd Banks got a co-sign. Even though these guys like Tony Ayo can rap a little bit, Lloyd Banks can really rap. Young Buck can rap. So he was, and then the game we know can rap. But he he gave him some hit records. He needed hit records to get in the game. So he pretty much executive produced the game's first album. Gave him the co-sign. And the game was out of here. You know, he did. He, I think he went diamond or close to diamond on his first album. I mean, you know, he and he was up from a different coast, so it made total sense. He was from a different area, so that you'd be like G Unit West almost. You know, um, so I didn't. You know, we did know that the game almost did get cut. We've heard this story before. Not even Dr. Dre could co-sign him and save him. I mean, the, the Dre co-sign mattered, but. He needed a little bit more, and he got it. Uh, now, Dr. Dre had Eminem at the time, 50, through Eminem, and himself. And then he had the game. So he had a lot going on, you know. Plus, he was still producing a lot of people's records back then. It's special to get a Dre beat. Um, and, you know, it all worked out. But uh, the game, then later, having a problem with 50 Cent was corny because... You wouldn't have been, th th this makes it even more corny. I mean, we already knew this, but when you think about it, it's like, dude, you were about to get cut from the label and gone, done. 50 Cent saved your career and then you go against him? Makes it even more corny, man. <laughs> so 50 Cent saved your life, then your career is your life because you need money. Saved your life, then later you turn against the very man that saved your career life right that's how it always works you know no good deed goes unpunished and that is the moral of this story because the game even though they're cool now the game really tried to go uh at 50 and 50 w went at the game because the game was going am the game was being disloyal we can get into that another day anyways this is jordan tower with jt news and i will check you guys on the next one